Hello, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new here. My name is Eva, my channel is on fashion. On my last video, we showed several ways to style the polo shirt and we seem to like it. So today, still on the versatility of clothes, we are going to be styling the maxi shirt. We are going to be styling it seven ways. A white shirt or a shirt is a wardrobe essential and I have proved that several ways and today, I come with you seven more ways why you need a white shirt in your wardrobe. If that is something you would like to see, then keep on watching as you would most definitely gain inspiration from this video. How are you? How have you been? Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> I have a video on wardrobe essentials and in that video I made mention of a shirt or a white shirt and in some cases you need it in a more fitted silhouette and some you need the maxi um, ones. There are various looks that you can do with both fitted and maxi shirts and for this video today I have found that I put together mostly casual sporty looks so we are going to be starting off with the less casual one. And what I have done is to pair my maxi shirt with my flowy official pants and I have belted over it to cinch in my waist because you can see that there is a lot of bulk going on at the top and at the bottom and I have um, added the belt to create some form of shape or some form of silhouette in the outfit. And also, you, you can wear this look with um, your heels or, or more dressier footwear. But I opted for my sneakers and um, playful earrings. I have also kept my accessories in the same color. My earrings, my bag, and my footwear, they are being matchy-matchy, while my outfit is just plain, simple, doing its own thing. I think it's giving church, it's giving office, it's giving conservative. Let me know what you think of the look and where you would wear it to in the comment section. This belting over dresses, over shirts, used to be a thing back in the day. Did you know when it was a thing? Like you wear fitted, you wear maxi gowns and you belt over it and, you know, off you go. Uh, now I have brought it back, but I switched it up a bit. Let me know what you think in the comment section. For the next look, I am going to go all out and do Afrocentric or Mama Africa um, vibe look. And what I have done is pair my favorite color, brown, with the white shirt. I have done a half tuck. I have added a belt because why not? Well, that waist needs to stay cinched for definition and for some sort of shape. And also, I have added a scarf. I love me some scarves. When you're having a bad day, this is a tip. Whenever you're having a bad day, put on a scarf. Whether silk scarf, Ankara scarf, whatever. And wrap your head in a scarf or a cap and you will have one less thing to worry about you're welcome i have added my raffia bag um keeping to the theme of the entire outfit i am not a big fan of cross body bags or crossing my bag across my body but i think it just i just went with the vibe i went with the flow and i think it's cute i have also done hoops hoops and head wraps hoops and uh baseball caps they are going to be a vibe anytime any day so what do we think of this look mama africa is that your vibe is that something that you would consider recreating for the sling bags it is unexpected normally i would do a simple sandals or a pair of sneakers with this look but i opted for sling bags because um sometimes when you want to balance your outfit you can do dressy and less dressy pieces and um, you wear them in the same outfit and you'll be amazed how balanced your outfits are going to come out so that is what i have done with this look for this next look i have done something fun and flirty and when i was putting this outfit together this particular look together i was confused as to where one can wear it to i don't know let me know where you would rock this to i have paired my maxi shirt with striped multiple color jacket and i have belted over it I was considering putting on pants or skirts or another bottom but then I knew that it was going to just be there, it was going to be expected, it was not going to be exciting. So what I have done is to add a biker's short 
underneath it. The biker's shot is keeping you safe. So even though you move around, you are going to um, still be clad. There will be no peekaboo or anything like that. And I have also added a pop-off color handbag that is also matching with the colors on the jacket. And I have kept my jewelry, my earring and my footwear dressy. I've paired it with a heel and a very um, dressy occasion-ish earrings. So let me know where you'd wear this to or if you would go for the regular long pants or shorts for this look. This next look is another sporty vibe kind of outfit. This is what you would wear to a gym, but we're not going to a gym. So we're going to add our maxi shirt to make it more friendly or outdoors, not gym friendly. Uh, you'll see that I have done my bra top and jeggings and black socks and trainers you know the typical gym wear then i have added my shirt to complete the look and some jewelry yes ordinarily you don't wear jewelry to a gym so because you are keeping it casual outside the gym casual you you would want to accessorize i have added simple pearls a face cap in the outfit and i think they marry well together. Still on accessorizing, I decided to add my cowboy necktie because I didn't want to leave my neck all bare. Uh, there won't be interest or something in the outfit. Something that I have done that I think is worthy of note is my stockings. The way I layered it on top of my jeggings and the black color is running all the way from my waist down to the tip of my trainers. I think that is something that you can do if you do not want to cut off your legs at your ankle and also um, if you want to do a contrasting color stockings you can also do that so that it can make its own statement in that part of your leg or that part of the outfit for the theme or the color combination of this outfit you will find that i have done a chromatic color from head to toe it's giving crop top midriff action so if that is your thing consider this outfit moving on let us talk about the fifth look that is also casual what i have done is to layer my hoodie on my maxi white shirt though i would rather a sweater without a hood so that the um, color detail of my white shirt can can have a chance to shine but nonetheless this is what i have and this and this is what i worked with so i layered my sweater on top of my maxi white shirt there is color action i have cuffed it as well and i have bunched it up to my elbow i love the cuff detail and the neck detail um, the white contrasting with the black i think that is a nice thing to have going on and i also made sure that the shirt was peeking towards the hem of the sweater that is also um, good for the contrast of the outfit this is giving lazy laid back casual outfit so when you don't feel like it when you are just not in the mood to um do too much this is a very good option to try also keeping to the color scheme i have done white socks and black trainers one thing that you can do for this outfit is to accessorize to the moon so that even if you're feeling lazy in your outfit when they look at your accessories they are like did she or did she not do so much so this is a good option on this next look which is like the highlight of this video this is the shirt on shirt look i don't know it just came to me have you ever seen a shirt on shirt vibe have you ever seen it done anywhere well if you haven't you're welcome i'm showing you today so i decided to pair my shirt on another shirt you know ordinarily you would um see a shirt and a blazer a shirt and a jean jacket and all of that but today we are doing shirt on shirt and i also think it is going to be beautiful if you have two different colors or contrasting colors uh, not necessarily white and white i think that is also going to be a good combo i am definitely going to try it out when i lay my hands on those what i have done is wear a more fitted shirt inside i didn't want to just wear the maxi on it because the color is just going to be running throughout so i added a waistcoat on top of the more fitted shirt then the maxi shirt it is giving a three-piece suit action but it's not a suit it's a shirt so anything goes right this is fashion for the more fitted shirt i have buttoned it all the way to the top so that it's not giving 
collarbone or neck action it would also be a good thing to do necklace in that area underneath the collar of the more fitted shirt i forgot to do that i have added my shorts and a pair of block heeled loafers in my white stockings and i think this is something outside the box kind of would you consider doing a shirt on a shirt look and let me know what you think of this one and i didn't know that i wasn't on earrings for this particular look so you can do whatever earrings you feel suits um your vibe or suits the look but i think i would have gone for this one that i have on i think it's going to pair nicely with the outfit so tell me what you think of this shirt on shirt and is that something that you're willing to try i will definitely be doing something like this very soon but i'm going to have them in contrasting colors as i think that is also going to be a very very good option i don't think this white on white eat as much as it would have if it was in different colors so consider doing that or consider just trying a shirt on shirt look and uh, and on the last look for today this look literally came to me as i was filming the b-rolls for this video i wanted to do the maxi shirt and my green skirt and then button it at the back a hack that i had done before but then it just occurred to me that let me let me not do that i have done that let me do something else so i just popped out my bralette and i wore it on my shirt and i tucked it into my green mini skirt and i was amazed at the outcome because i i wasn't sure how it was going to come out but i like how it did come out it was um outside the box as well um though bralette on on tops has been a thing for a long time i like how i um paired this it, it has some kind of mesh action so you could see the shirt through the bralette and i am leaning towards stockings and heels these days in fact my next video we are going to put an outfit together that i wore to church on sunday and it was sweet it was amazing it is something that i would definitely rock but maybe with a more fitted shirt and guys those are the looks that i have for us for this video today if this is your vibe you are welcome to recreate these outfits and even if it isn't i'm sure you gained inspiration and you can you picked a thing or two that you can incorporate in your own outfit if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up if you want to see me again consider subscribing and also hit the bell icon so they tell you when i put up a new video also i have a series on this channel where we talked about the different body types and how to style them so it is imperative that you go and see those so you can know your body and you know how to style them and begin your fashion journey or your style journey thank you so much for watching if you can tell from my voice i am a little under the weather but i said mm, this video must be made and uh, yeah thank you so much for sticking with me and watching up until this point have a good day now bye